This is for those of you that grew up with maybe a narcissistic parent or parents or emotionally mature parents that struggle with spicy time or your body. Something else I noticed that comes up for a lot of us is a fear of telling partners what we want and what we like when it comes to spicy time. And that can be, you know, feeling closed off to expressing if something doesn't feel good or it's just not doing for us what we want. Or maybe we have a fantasy or desire that we want. Maybe we want things to be a little bit different, right? Maybe we actually do want things a little bit softer. Maybe there's something a little bit on the kinkier side that we want to try, but we get really, really fearful of speaking up for that. And most of us struggle with that kind of conversation anyway. But what I noticed happens with us is there is a direct fear of losing said partner of being completely rejected as an entire person because they may not be into what we're into or they may be upset at what we're asking for or asking to not do right it, it is not just a normal nervousness it is almost anxiety inducing and shuts us down so we don't actually allow ourselves to have the experiences that we want to experience in pleasure and in, in spicy time. And the one thing to remember here is what any good partner is going to tell you, even if they're not into something that you want to do is, okay, I hear you. I don't know if that's really for me, but um, I'm not like, I'm not offended by it or anything. And maybe then try to work on a way to bring some compromise in if that's possible. So maybe there's something about what it is that you want to experience that is more important than the experience that you've put to them, right? Maybe maybe there's something about a fantasy or kink that you've brought to them that maybe they don't want to try that specifically, but there's something behind that that they will be into and you can find a way to work that out, right? But we don't think like that. We think in terms of, oh my God, they're gonna reject me. They're gonna completely reject me. And maybe we've had moments where we even tried to bring it up with past partners and didn't work out so well. But any partner that genuinely loves and cares about you or is really into you, they're not gonna shame you, right? However, that's not what we experience. So we have to really look at how do we communicate what our desires are at the same time as we work on releasing this fear within us based on those moments in childhood where we were constantly rejected and constantly felt invalidated so we can actually have the experiences we want. If that's something you want some help with, definitely make sure you're following. Hit me up because I got a lot more planned for this.